The e-tron Sportback 55 Quattro, as its name suggests, is a more sporting version of the e-tron 55 Quattro that has been on sale here since mid-2019. Outwardly, it's distinguished from its sibling by a more heavily curved, coupe-like roofline and liftback style tailgate, among other subtle changes, including more aggressively styled bumpers and headlights using Audi's new digital matrix LED technology. Together, these alterations provide the e-tron Sportback with a shapely profile similar in style and detailing to the e-lane concept that Audi unveiled three years ago. Sharing certain exterior design elements with conventionally powered Audi models, it's perhaps not as distinctive as the I-Pace. But with a drag coefficient of just 0.25 CD, it's among the most aerodynamically efficient series production SUVs yet, beating the Jaguar in this crucial area by a considerable 0.04 CD margin. This is thanks in part to the availability of virtual exterior mirrors, which use a camera to project a live video feed on the forward part of the doors inside. The changes to the cabin over the regular e-tron are slight, but that's no bad thing. In terms of attractiveness, perceived quality and tactility, the dashboard, controls and trim materials are all premium in nature, the optional front sport seats are firm and supportive, setting up a pleasantly roomy and airy driving environment. However, accommodation in the rear is compromised to the tune of 20mm by that plunging roofline. The adoption of a more heavily angled tailgate also reduces boot capacity by 45 litres over the e-tron, at 615 litres. Even so, it's still quite versatile, with 58 litres more than the I-Pace. Like the e-tron, alongside which it's produced at Audi's factory in Brussels, Belgium, the e-tron Sportback is based on a modified version of the MLB Evo platform, housing between its axles a sizable 95 kWh lithium-ion battery made up of cells supplied by LG Chemistry. At 4,901 mm long, 1935 mm wide and 1,616 mm tall, the e-tron Sportback is 85 mm shorter, 60 mm narrower and a considerable 89 mm lower than Audi's conventionally powered flagship SUV, the Q8. The drivetrain is borrowed wholly from the e-tron. It uses two differently specified asynchronous electric motors, one sitting up front that produces peaks of 181 brake horsepower and 182 pounds-feet of torque and a second at the rear making 221 brake horsepower and 232 pounds-foot. Together, they provide a maximum system output of 402 brake horsepower and 490 pounds-feet for limited periods of up to 8 seconds in boost mode, which is activated by slotting the gear selector into S. Indeed, the combined output of the motors is reduced to a milder 355 brake horsepower and 414 pounds-feet to help increase efficiency and consequently extend the range between charges. The I-PACE 2 motors, by way of comparison, deliver a maximum combined 394 brake horsepower and 512 pounds-foot.